What's up, everybody? Funnel Doc. Today, we're going to be going over how to set up your domain in ClickFunnels if you've bought it in GoDaddy. So if you bought your domain, your URL into GoDaddy, I'm going to show you how to set it up in quick, easy steps in ClickFunnels today. See you inside the video. Some dude, Jeffrey M. Benek, he just... Um, Got a quick little tattoo. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Now, we're inside my ClickFunnels account here. This is um, to access this. What you're going to do is you'll come right here to account settings. And when you click that button, this page is going to pop up. Now, from there, you're going to want to go down to domains right here. You're then going to want to make sure you've logged in. I'm not going to go in through the login process into your GoDaddy account. Now, what you'll do next is once you've logged in, it'll look, your page will look similar to this. You'll go to my account go to domains, and then all your domains will be listed right here. Boom, 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 boom. All your different domains. So the one that I'm going to set up today is fhlactiontakers.com. So the next thing you want to do here is we'll go to, um, we'll go back to ClickFunnels. I'd like, do like I'm doing here and leave these open so you can switch between the two really easily. Um, and then the next thing you'll do is you'll go ba back to the ClickFunnels screen to domains. You're going to click add new domain. And then you can either register if you haven't happened to buy your domain yet. Um, sometimes it's easier to buy it through ClickFunnels. It's only 20 bucks and it integrates way quicker with all the DNS and all the background I'm going to show you in here. Um, it's super easy. So if you haven't bought your URL yet, feel free to buy it right here. Um, it, it makes it easier. It is in ClickFunnels and you have to take it out later if you ever shut down ClickFunnels, so that can be a problem. Um, but it's pretty easy to do that, to be honest with you. Um, now, if you have bought your own domain, I just like to host them all in one spot. And I've always been using GoDaddy for years now. So uh, that's why I'm not. I do have some that I've actually bought through ClickFunnels. Anyway, um, what you're going to do to add your own domain, you're going to click use an existing domain. It's going to pop up this screen right here. What I like to do next is I'll go to the um, actual domain itself and click on it. And then I'll go right here to the bottom, go to manage DNS. And then you'll see at the top, it'll have the domain name. So then I'll copy this and then I'll go right here and I'll paste the domain in right here. Now, if you're using Cloudflare to host it, you can actually click this and it will uh, have different steps, but that's for uh, Cloudflare. So just leave this box uh, unchecked. You're going to click Add Domain. Now, you're going to see right here um, that you want to add a CNAME record that points to www at clickfunnels.com. Now, what I like to do is if you see right here, they've got one that's set up that's got an at symbol. So what I actually do is I usually just go in here and change this to target.clickfunnels.com and then hit save. Now, the next thing, there's one more step in GoDaddy that you want to do that helps to make it so it redirects better. You're going to go down here and you see this forwarding domain. You're going to hit add. You're going to add the HTTPS. And then you're going to hit www dot and then paste your URL in there. Leave these alone and hit save. Boom. Now, if you go back to ClickFunnels, things happen really quick. It, uh, it used to take a long time, but they're pretty quick now. This should be ready to go. Clicking and boom, it's already set up. Now, that's not done yet. Okay, so the next thing you need to do is you want to go back, click on domains. If you want right there with that little drop down menu, if you had a specific funnel you wanted to assign it to, you could click that drop down and it would assign it to this funnel then, but I don't ever really bother with that. Now you'll see these little locks right here. This means that it's domain is secure with the SSL certificate, which means it's a secure site and people can't hack it or anything like that, or it can't be used um, for nefarious purposes. But you'll see right here, the new one we just set up, fhlactiontakers.com. And if you're watching this and you're going to Funnel Hacking Live, go to fhlactiontakers.com. You can see about how I can show you how to implement everything you learned at Funnel Hacking Live. Anyway, so the next thing you want to look at next is you'll go right here. And as you see that lock means it's not secured. You'll go to edit. And then you'll see right here, SSL. You're going to click the suspend token uh, button 
And all you do is click add SSL or SSL. Now you'll see it says right here, okay, it's set up, it's initiated the process. Usually it doesn't take but a couple of seconds to initiate and I can check now and usually it will be good. Yeah, so you can see right there, it's already set up. Now, if you need to forward it to another domain, for instance, so if you need like an instant redirect and you're just using this as like a placeholder URL that's easy for people to go to, but you want it to go somewhere else, you can redirect to a forwarding domain right here. One of the things you're gonna wanna do is um, set up this default in 40, uh, 404 and error page. What happens here if someone mistypes it or has the wrong ending on it, the default to this. So whatever funnel you decide to set it up on, you're gonna wanna go in here and you're gonna wanna click this. Realize that the way that ClickFunnels does it is if it, you don't set this up, it goes to the ClickFunnels homepage. So you want to make sure, this is very important, that once you get a funnel assigned to it, you come back to this, get that funnel, and then um, set it up here. I've been set up an um, FHL Action Takers funnel. There will be one by the time you get done watching this video. And uh, what I would have done is I'd come in here, I'd find that FHL Action Takers and find that funnel and assign both the default page you hit save and then you also want to do the 401 error page and hit save. That way it ensures that it redirects to your primary funnel that you're going to have attached to this. Just as setting it inside the actual funnel itself isn't enough. And let me show you that real quick so we can show you what that looks like. If say we're going in this one right here and I wanted to um, set the actual URL, you go to publishing or I'm sorry, you go to settings. And then right here under domain, the bottom one's going to be always your most recent domain. You just click on that, scroll to the bottom, hit save and update. And now you'll see that when I click on this page, you'll see FHL Action Takers has now been assigned to the URL right there. And to change this back end of it, you go to publishing and you can just change that right here. So if I wanted to put like join uh, now as it or something, I don't know. You can put right there and now you'll see it'll say FHL Action Takers join now. There's also, now mind you, to split test, there's two different URLs assigned each one of these. This specific, specific page's URL is under this gear icon, which is right there. Boom. And what it means to that is this is the primary one, but then what ClickFunnels does is it has it split off automatically so that they can split test because if you were to split test to make one, this would have a different URL. So this would be the primary one and then it'd go here, here. But I'll get into that in later videos. Hopefully this made sense. Um, let me know in the comments if you had any questions. Let me know if this helped you out. And please, if you're going to Funnel Hacking Live, be sure to go to fhlactiontakers.com because we're gonna show you how to implement everything that you've learned at Funnel Hacking Live. I'm gonna have special trainings in the group leading up to Funnel Hacking Live to help you prepare and prep for it to make this year the most amazing year you've ever had, whether you're live or virtual, it will not matter. So thanks a lot for watching. Please be sure to smash that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any of my new videos that are coming out. And again, put something in the comments. Let me know if you're liking these videos. Let me know videos you'd like to see. And thank you so much for watching. Funnel Doc out.